the Wyvern Truck Simulator. Today we are working for FedEx. We were actually, we just dropped the load off here, and this is the only trailer that they have available for us, which is FedEx Express. So they want us to take this load right now and take it from Colorado all the way over to Las Vegas. And we are going to go ahead and head over there. We are using the Volvo right now, the VNR. And we are going to go ahead and head over to Viva Las Vegas, baby. Um, just want to give a shout out to all you subscribers, all you sponsors. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you all for the uh, support, all the motivation. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and smash that like button. It really helps the channel out. I know I haven't done American Truck Simulator in like a month. Um, but it feels good to actually be back in here. So we are going to go ahead and uh, get on the road and see what we get into. We are coming from the airport. As you guys see, all the planes back there. Um, we are coming from the airport. And we are actually at a FedEx warehouse right now. Um, so let's go ahead and fire this baby up. And we will go ahead and get out here on the road. I'm going to go ahead and fire this baby up. I'm going to turn my hazards on since I am on our uh, lot and I have a load. So I am going to go ahead and head out. So we are going to go ahead and get on the road. We have probably 700 miles to do. And as you see, we are coming from the FedEx warehouse right here at the airport in Colorado. And um, we are going to go ahead and get on the road and get out here and drop this loot off. Landon, shout out to you, Grim Reaper, Cole. We got Jordan Crawford. Thank you all for coming by and watching. I'm doing good, Landon. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. It's pretty cool coming from a FedEx warehouse too. Just makes the game that much better. And the the warehouse looks 100% legit. Which is amazing. And we are going to go ahead and head out. You can see the airport up there in front of us. So we are in Colorado right now and we will be heading over to Las Vegas. The fun part is getting out of this uh this damn parking lot. The traffic is horrible right here. Get all kinds of traffic from the airport and stuff so it's kind of hard to uh to get out of here be nice if people will all right it looks like traffic's dying down over here to the left is that a ford f450 for pepsi the hell oh god it's so hard to get out of this parking lot We are going to be making a left out of here. Why are you guys stopping? Are you pulling in here? You going to let me go? Thank you. Appreciate it. Looks like he's pulling in here, so he's going to let me out. Appreciate it. I'm going to make a left right here. And it looks like we have a little viewpoint right here. Let me check this out because I haven't got to check this out. Let's go ahead and... So you see FedEx Warehouse right there. This looks pretty cool. So I like the railway. I've never played that. And we got the International Airport right here. Denver, Denver International Airport. So we are coming out of Denver, Colorado, for those of you that are wondering. And that airport looks amazing. Looks nothing like the airport in Columbus, Ohio. That place actually looks really good. And we got the plane right here. The big old plane, big cargo plane. And uh, looks like we'll go ahead and get on the road. Let that car go and we'll go ahead and get out here. So coming out of Denver, Colorado, and we are heading to Las Vegas, baby. And it looks like we have a Amazon warehouse over here to our left. Amazon warehouse right there. It looks like we got a bunch of Amazon Prime uh, trailers inside their lot. And I believe this over here to the left is going to be Vistaprint. I don't know if you guys know what Vistaprint is. It's like where you can make cards for your company and stuff, like business cards or coffee mugs and stuff like that. Relay Gaming, shout out to you. We got James S. V O D S. Hey, no problem, James. No problem at all, man. Glad I could help. Jovin E231, shout out to you. Got right, right here, and looks like we're going to be hopping on the highway. Perfect. 
perfect. It's got a sign right here that says rental car return. And we are going to be making a left right here. Kind of sucks that I can't actually go into the airport. Because you see all the X's? It, like, it prevents me from going over to the airport. So we are going to go ahead and wait until we get the green arrow. Uh, Mickey, I am doing good. How you doing, brother? Appreciate you coming by. I know it's been, uh, do I run any mods? Yes, I'm running tons of mods in this game. Uh, graphics mod, I have traffic mod, I have, um, the Volvo that I'm using right now is a mod. The trailer is a mod for, uh, with the FedEx livery on it. So I have tons of mods in this game. Absolutely tons. I mean, if you look over there, you got Napa. Napo Auto Care. So we have like um, actual. Hold on, let me get over in the left lane. Uh, so we have actual like real company logos inside the game. Um, so like you've seen Amazon, we have FedEx, and you'll see real gas stations and all that. So just to make the game feel IRL, um, make it feel like it's IRL. So we are going to go in and continue on. And I haven't played this game in about a month. It's been a while since I played it. The last time we played it, we did UPS. Um, so I figured, why not do FedEx? You know what I mean? I see FedEx everywhere. Um, so why not do FedEx? You know what I mean? So we are going to go ahead and continue on. We have over 700 miles to go. Uh, so I believe we're coming out of Colorado through Utah and heading into Nevada. So, uh... Looks like we got another if you look down on my map it looks like we got another amazon warehouse over here to our left that's the cool thing about this game is you you got you got all these um real life companies inside the game and it just it makes it feel so realistic because the thing is, is that the creators that actually create these mods make the like the real life companies buildings and everything like the logos and everything look 100 percent legit left lane and just follow our GPS and I uh, believe we should have Denver over to our left yep we got Denver over there to our left brought down my windows a little bit Let you guys hear the air horn there we go hit the air brake Oh, the J break. Lord Vader, what's up, brother? Uh, steering mod? Um, no, steering. I don't. I don't think I have a steering mod in. I put so many mods in, I forget what the hell I put in. To be honest with you, I have so many in. It's unbelievable. All right, speed limit is 55, so I don't want to get caught speeding. So I'm gonna do the speed limit. And the thing is, is that the sun is coming down, um, as you guys can tell. And I really don't want to do no night trucking, but we do have to get this uh, delivery over to uh, Las Vegas pretty fast. Um, so, we'll try our hardest to um, get our butts over there and get the 700 miles over with. Um, and just enjoy the open road, you know what I mean? It's beautiful out here in Colorado it looks like another trucker got pulled over busted bad boys bad boys should be bad truckers bad truckers what you gonna do all right hop in the right lane right here and let's go and continue on look at these beautiful mountains out here I, I gotta admit and I say this every single time that I go through Colorado Colorado is the best DLC by far that um, has been released for American Truck Simulator. The scenery that they have in this game um, is, is just amazing. Like the scenery that, and they feel, it feels like they did a lot more detail to Colorado than um, any of the other DLCs. Cause I, I know what 
was it Idaho or was it Utah? I believe Idaho, Idaho was the uh, one prior to Colorado being released. Why are you going so slow there, bud? This Volvo does look really, really good. Got a semi in front of us going pretty slow. I mean, we are going in between the mountains, but we're really not going up the side of a mountain. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and pass him because he's he's doing 35 in a, uh, in a 65 mile per hour zone. So like, come on, dude, step your game up. Step your game up. Right, my truck is definitely not liking this hill, though. I'm going to hop in the right lane right here. GG Films, what's up, brother? Uh, Dare Galaxy, shout out to you. You live in Colorado? Nice. Yeah, Colorado is a beautiful state. Beautiful scenery, beautiful mountains, just, just everything. Especially from what I see in this game. I mean, like I say all the time, the creators that created American Truck Simulator also created Euro Truck Simulator. And what they do is they, uh, they come from, because they're not from the United States, but they come from their country over here. Um, I believe they're from Europe, but they come over here to the United States and what they'll do is they uh, they either rent a van or they own a van. And what they'll do is drive around the entire state and uh, try to get as much detail as possible for um, the game. So it's just like uh, Google Maps. So you know how Google Maps, um, they go around and they you can zoom in and like get a uh, view of what the area looks like they basically do that same thing and implement it into a game so we're going to eisenhower tunnel built in 1973 which we're going right under a mountain right now what is up higgins for shit's coming by for a second stream joven do i have what some area so I heard that they're coming out with and I, I believe it's a lie because it said farm and some 2022 but I don't believe it's supposed to be 2022 I believe it's supposed to be 2021 you know what I mean because they do it every two years so right now it's farm and some 19 and then I believe you get farm and some 2020 for uh, mobile so for your phone and then um, I believe they're supposed to be coming out with the newest farming simulator night or let me slow down the newest farming simulator which should be 2021 and the speed limit is 35 there here so i definitely know when to speed and the thing is that we're going down uh the side of a mountain so the reason why they have trucks do about 35 is so if your brakes give out or anything like that you're not at a high rate of speed and you have a chance to actually slow down I'm just coasting right now. I'm doing 31, sticking to the right lane. Hey, Jay, what's up, brother? It's out on the Nintendo Switch. It looked like an unmarked Crown Vic. See how big his antenna was on the backside? Um, and like I said, so it, it, when truckers are going down the side of a mountain and stuff, um, it, I mean, I guess it takes a toll on the truck and um, applying your brakes and stuff. And if your brakes end up going out, that's what these runaway uh, ramps are for. So basically, if, you're tr if your brakes go out, you go up this runaway ramp and it allows your, it slows your truck completely down. And most of them are gravel and stuff. So um, what it does is your truck sinks down in the gravel and it uh, prevents your truck from moving. Uh, so you're not killing people or not killing yourself and wrecking out. So that's a runaway ramp right there to our right. And it's starting to get dark out. And I'm just trying to be professional about how I am doing this. Um, so I'm going to stick to the speed limit. Yeah, you would definitely, it definitely uh, will do some damage to your truck having to use a runaway ramp. 
because uh, basically you're taking a lot of gravel um and depending on your speed if you hit that gravel hard enough it's gonna crack your windshield and uh possibly do some damage to your to the front of your truck as you guys see we're, we're i mean we're on this, like in a valley right now of two mountains um but as you guys see it's starting to get dark out so i already have my uh lights on and right now we are just uh cruising speed limit 60 now since we are um leveled out and not going down the side of a large mountain so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up speed here i'm going to continue on i'm running on a full tank of gas uh, to be honest with you, I just bought this truck, $190,000, and I spent about all my money, so I am only running with, uh, and you guys are going to laugh at me, because I played this game so long, but I'm only running like $8,000 right now, I'm broke, I'm a broke joke. Uh, one red man, shout out to our sponsor, also run Denny run, shout out to our sponsor, run Denny run. Do we stream together? Yeah, we should do some, uh, Truckers MP. Let me hop over. I don't know why that Ford uh, Fusion or Taurus, whatever this is, did that. You know, I mean, if you see a tow truck on the side of the road or emergency vehicle or anything that's parked on the side of the road, um, it's definitely safe to, if you can, to get in the uh, next lane just to be safe about it. You know what I mean? Because I have been broken down on the side of the highway, and we were actually broken down on the West Virginia Turnpike. And, uh, yeah, let's just say it was very, very scary. being broken down on the West Virginia Turnpike. And to be honest, we weren't that far away from where they filmed Hills Have Eyes. If you guys haven't seen the video, Hills Have Eyes, um, imagine, all right, we got another, oh, a motorcycle cop got someone busted. Um, if you haven't seen the video, Hills Have Eyes, I definitely recommend watching it and just imagine breaking down in West Virginia. Cause the thing is we broke down and we had a call for a tow truck and we had one of the most weirdest um, rustiest looking tow trucks to come pick us up and take us into I'd say the countryest town I've probably ever been in in my life so it's definitely scary to get our car worked on and stuff like that I thought it was gonna die see the thing the thing about me is I could have a, lo a lot of money um, but one, I don't use the money mod, and two is every single time I do a stream for American Truck Simulator, I switch up my trucks. So I always switch up my trucks and buy new trucks, so I basically just truck to buy a new truck, you know what I mean? And the crazy thing is I have so many trucks. Alright, let's go ahead and pick our speed up. We're doing 40 and a 50. So we are going to go ahead and pick our speed up, and we're going back through another tunnel just imagine because look how big this mountain is right here look how big that is and literally they built a freaking tunnel through the mountain Jessica shout out to you big shout out to Jessica just subscribe to the channel on our last stream that we just did earlier so we were rolling as Polito Bay police and uh, now we are out here trucking as a FedEx truck driver on 58 and a 50 hopefully there's no cops out here it looks like there was a motorcycle cop back there so it's got to be careful uh what wheel would i recommend i don't really know because i've never really had a wheel in my life so um i mean you can always search up youtube videos and people will give you a uh, best idea or the best uh, opinion and on what wheels to actually buy for what games. Doing all some, doing some night trucking out here in the middle of the freaking mountains in Colorado. <laughs> run Denny run you're crazy so 
So I, you guys do see that I have my brights on, and the reason for that being is, is that the lights in this game are not legit when you have it on low beam. I feel like low beam is more, should be more like uh, the high beam. Because the high beam kind of fits uh, what it actually looks like in IRL. I wish there was like a place where I could actually stop off and get some sleep so we can see this beautiful scenery. Because as you guys know, I don't like trucking at nighttime. I'd rather truck at daytime. Even if I was a real trucker in real life, I would rather truck at daytime. Um, I mean, it all depends. In real life, I would probably, I would love to truck at in the daytime to see the beautiful scenery. But also, I can understand why you would truck at nighttime to deal with less traffic. So I could totally understand that. Speed limit 65, we're doing 56. So we're gonna go ahead and pick our speed up. This truck actually sounds really, really good. Ain't nothing like driving an 18 wheeler, boy. When they pass you, yeah. And hop in this right lane. We are at a steady 65 right now. The speed limit is 65. And we are just like, if you look at the GPS over here to the right, we are just like going in and out of mountains. And we are just cruising. Hopefully I can find a place where we could actually uh, get some rest. Yeah, I think if I would be a trucker, I'd want to see the beautiful scenery. And that's why I like driving in the daylight when I play this game, so we can all see the beautiful scenery. Because right now we're missing out on a lot of beautiful scenery in Colorado. Because uh, this is like the most beautiful part of Colorado, this highway right here. So I'm not too sure which highway this is. Or which interstate this is, but... We're going over Colorado River right now. And the speed limit jumps up to 75. So we must be out of the mountains and we must be getting close to Utah. If I do find a place, we got Grand Junction coming up. If I do find a place to actually get some rest, we're gonna pull off and get some sleep. Looks like there's another cop pulled someone over over there. We've seen what, three traffic stops so far? So the cops are out and about. I believe at this next exit, I should be able to stop at a rest stop. There should be one up here. Yep, there is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a right right here and hop off and get us some sleep and just make it daylight. Hopefully I'm not late dropping off this load um, but like I said, I just want it to be daylight. We got a coca-cola trailer right there Get in the left lane so I can make a left up here And we'll turn into this gas station over here Not too sure which gas station this is looks like we got an Amazon warehouse right there Jojo Nachos, what's up, brother? 
A taxi simulator? No, that would be pretty cool. It'd be cool to have like a taxi simulator and deal with like different type of people with attitudes. Like people in good moods, people telling you about their life story and stuff just to make the RP better. right here and I believe I could pull to the back over here and get some rest See, this guy's getting his truck work done. I don't want to be like a Swift driver and take this guy's front end off. I gotta check my mirrors. Take this dude's front bumper off, so reposition myself and we'll go ahead and swing in this parking spot. I love making it hard for myself. too close to his mirror. It doesn't really give you much um, view on this. So many parking spots of this freaking place and I choose to park right next to a guy. Go and shut this baby off. And it is daylight. It's 9.04 a.m. And we have a total of... No, 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 no. I did not mean to do that. Son of a mother. Damn it. When you press the wrong button and end up sleeping some more. Now I'm going to be late for my drop off. You got to love it. I hate that shit. I still have 400 miles to go. I hate that. Like, when you get sleep, it shouldn't ask you if you want more sleep. What kind of stupid shit is that? Now we're going to have to make up time so I can actually make money off this load. Sixty percent off. Yeah, I've watched people play um, PC Simulator. It seems like it get boring fast. All right, so let's go ahead and uh Get over here and get back on the interstate. Make a left right here. All right, Pepsi, what you doing? Old Dominion right here.
I just want to make sure I give him enough room. All right, let's get back on the road. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Literally, I stopped off to get sleep and it's going right back to dark. Like, come on, man. I hate that shit. And it was 9 a.m. for us, and now it's like literally going on 8 p.m. Yeah, it's going on to 8 p.m. right now. Jesus, if I didn't click that button again. We are gonna try to make up some time and see if I get my truck to speed. We got a way station up here. Got 34 likes so far. Thank you guys for smashing that like button. You guys are amazing. Guys and girls are amazing. All right, we don't have to stop at the way station. Perfect. So it looks like we're coming in Utah. Living in color for Colorado and going into Utah, baby. So we are gonna go uh, through the bottom of Utah and head into Nevada. So it should be about a, maybe 100 or 200 miles to get through um, Utah and then we'll be in Nevada and then uh, we'll be heading over to uh, Las Vegas All right, and we are just gonna cruise Got the vaccine today? Nice. Uh, run any run said she got more chickens today. Chicken squad, your squad's not that big, bruh. Run any run said her chicken squad's up to point. It looks like the game wants us to do some night trucking, so. Oh, shit. Listen, I've had some AI do some crazy stuff in this game that caused me to have an accident. You just gotta watch out for like inner or like on ramps, because AI will just pull right in front of you. Blame me on that one, run, didn't he run?
the cool thing about uh, the beginning of this is we went through the most like um, curviest roads um, through Colorado so basically now it's just a straight shot Joshua yeah you ain't lying man those PFR is fun which we just streamed it earlier and just feels good just to sit back kick back and relax and do some trucking which I wish it was at night time but I cannot rest again or I'll lose all my money and end up delivering my load late we're just cruising through the mountains Coming around the mountain when she comes. I'm just trying to make up some time right now, so do a little bit of speeding around these curves. Oh God, you can hear my truck struggling right now. going up a mountain right now it looks like we're on interstate 70 right now come on baby Why are these people slowing down? Yeah, I've never really played Euro Truck Simulator. I just, I'm so used to seeing trucks in the United States. I've never seen like the trucks over in Europe and stuff. And I know they'd be driving Mercedes and stuff. And a lot of them are just, um, I don't know, they're ugly to me. Just my opinion though. Just my opinion. Youngstown? I could probably stream it. Tony Cooper, what's up, brother? At 41 likes, we're so close to 50, guys. That is awesome. You like their controlling more? Yeah, the only thing I don't like about your truck is the look of the trucks. I mean, it's cool to be able to drive a Mercedes truck, but. Let's see, I might just stay in this lane. Unless they start slowing down. We are in Utah right now, guys. Came out of Denver, Colorado. We're in Utah, heading to Las Vegas. Jeremy Davis, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you coming by. I am just cruising. The speed limit's 70. I'm only doing 64. We're going downhill, so we might pick up some speed. Passing these semis up, shake and bake. Looks like we got an accident over there on the left side. What's the best wheel setup? I have no clue, Joshua. 
you just have to search up uh, videos on YouTube of people and their opinions on certain wheels. I know um, Jeff Fabiano has one hell of a setup on his uh, when he does a stream. Cars passed me on the right side, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the right lane. And it looks like we are coming up on a slower truck, so I'm gonna hop right back in the left lane. And we are literally about to be out of Utah heading into Nevada. So we should be uh, seeing Nevada here soon. Probably about another hundred miles. Um, yeah, probably in about another hundred miles. Because once we get out of Utah, we're not that far. We don't have to go that far into Nevada to get to Las Vegas. We live in Salt Lake City. Yeah, when I uh, actually got Utah's uh, DLC, I... Um, that's where I always, uh, I have my, um, truck headquarters at, um, over in Salt Lake City. So we used to always come out of Salt Lake City. Then Idaho came out and I was up in Idaho and now I'm in Colorado. Usually I start my streams in the newest DLC state and, uh, just travel through the other states. That's what's cool about this game, because literally I could go from... You go all the way down from New Mexico all the way up to Washington. You know what I mean? Like, that is, that's just amazing how big this game is. And we are just cruising, guys. Try to get it up to 65. I'm gonna hop in this right lane. Hop in this right lane. So if anybody well, looks like, you look at my left mirror. I got a car coming up fast. But the speed limit is 80, and I'm only doing 56. Pass the semi right here. Jessica, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Thank you for coming by and watching for a second stream today. I appreciate it. Oh, damn. I broke down semi. Let me slow down. Our semi lost his load. That's never good. It looks like we're going to be getting off the highway up here, off this interstate, and it looks like we're going to be hopping on the 15 headed north. So we are going to be hopping on the 15 headed north now. And uh, as you guys seen the signs of Las Vegas, I don't believe we entered Nevada yet. I really don't. From the UK, NRG Haza. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Hopefully, I said your last name right. John, shout out to you. Appreciate you coming by. Yeah, 45 likes so far. We are literally five likes away from 50. That is awesome. You guys are amazing. Hop in this left lane right here. And the cool thing, even though we're we're driving at nighttime is once we get into las vegas it's just so lit up it's just beautiful in las vegas because literally you're coming out from the desert and going into one of uh, a big big city and 
and we should be coming up to Las Vegas here soon and the way that you'll tell that you're coming up on Las Vegas is all the billboards so we're gonna start seeing billboards like crazy I guess that's a thing for Las Vegas is billboards everywhere Billboards everywhere. We're coming in Cedar City right now. Festival City, USA. And we are literally 144 miles away from Las Vegas. Alright, I'll call you Harry. Alex Jones. If you use will and try to track your head movement, you guys really don't want to see my head movement because all you're gonna see when I do my head movement is me over here to the right looking at chat. You know what I mean? Because when I do my head movement, I look over to the right to talk to you guys in chat. John with the two dollars super chat, thank you so much. Hello, thanks for the great videos, no problem, John. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. You are awesome. And like I said, if you guys look over to the right, you're going to see all kinds of billboards. Um, the closer that we get to Las Vegas, the more billboards you're going to see. It's all about advertisement. And the crazy thing is, is uh, one thing that I learned, and, and the price goes up or it could be down, but um, for people that own billboards, um, they buy the land they build the uh, billboard up and they charge advertisers like 10,000 every I don't know if it's every month or what it is but um, $10,000 every month just to own a billboard and let people advertise on it is crazy and we got an accident it looks like that dude drove through their cone we got a flipped over semi URP on PS4, nice. How much is this game? I believe this game is like 20 bucks right now. So it's not expensive, and you get off of Steam. And all the free, all the mods are free. Gonna be 32 in seven months. November. Okay, well, happy early birthday to you. I know November's pretty far out, but still want to say happy early birthday to you. Uh, the B-City, you would definitely love this game. Especially if you enjoy building up your own company. And Because the thing is, I go to a staff company and hire uh, people to drive my trucks around. Like all the trucks that I'm not using right now. And create revenue that way. And uh, you get to drive all over... I mean, basically, it's the um, the West Coast right now is everything that um, ATS has. The East Coast they haven't started they haven't started doing yet. Which they're coming out with Wyoming, and I forget what other one they're about to come out with. I know Wyoming for sure. Coming up on St. George now. Yep, we are less than 100 miles away from Las Vegas. I still haven't seen the sign for Nevada. Have you guys seen it? Are we still in Utah or are we in Nevada? Because I haven't seen the sign for Nevada. Thank you, Harry. I appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah, they are coming out with Texas, aren't they, Juan? Yeah, everybody's gonna love to have Texas, dude. Everybody's gonna love to see Texas in this game. I mean, I'm even excited for that. You know how big Texas is? And we are coming up on Las Vegas, baby. Thank you, thank you very much.
I'm so excited to get there. We've been going for over an hour, right? Uh, the B-City, no, I am not using the steering wheel. Another 5M Sheriff video? Um, I might be patrolling in 5M tonight. I'm not too sure. If not, I'll probably do one this week. Damn it, we got a way station up here. And I gotta go through it. Hell yeah! That's the perks of working for FedEx, baby! Hey, baby! I did become a sponsor so you'll uh, see on my channel's main page or you'll see on the stream it says join and for uh, if you join for $4.99 a month you get shout outs you get um, you get custom emojis and uh, you become an instant moderator on my channel and uh, also you uh, I will subscribe to you. So you come a sponsor of my channel, I instantly subscribe to you. All right, we are in Arizona now. Just entered into Arizona and we are 70 miles from, um, 70 miles from Las Vegas, baby. What is this bus doing? Are they like road raging? Oh, there's construction up here. I was wondering what the hell the bus was doing. Toilet simulator? <laughs> I've seen walking simulator. I've seen that one. Ocean Echo, shout out to you. Slow down. I'm only doing 65. I'm trying to get there on time because we accidentally uh, hit the button twice and slept in. I'm trying to get there pretty fast. Don't worry, I'm staying within my lane. And I blew through it. That's how we do. That's how we do. Nah, I was going a little bit too fast for that construction zone. To be honest with you. You got me on that one. I blew straight through that construction zone. The thing that I didn't realize is that there was a construction zone there. I was more focused on the bus that was doing, like, slowing all the way down on the freeway. And then I look up and there's a freaking, um, well, we just went to Arizona. Now we're in Nevada. So we went into Arizona, just left Arizona and went into Nevada. So we came out of Utah, went into Arizona for like five minutes, and then now we're in Nevada. I messed up on that one. That's how it is in Ohio. I never speed through construction zones in Ohio. I mean, this is how it is in Ohio though. Like they really do their construction at nighttime. It's a lot. I mean, I wouldn't say it's safer for them. I mean, there's less traffic, um, but more drunk drivers out, but it's a lot more cooler for them, I guess. Ain't nothing like working on the highway at nighttime and cars blowing past you so you get that wind hitting you. Jackson Turner, well thank you man, I appreciate that. If you were a cop, you wouldn't catch me, I'll release my trailer on you. Let you crash right into it. <laughs> Do you pay to drive to different, you have to pay to drive to different cities? No, you get paid. So basically I'm getting paid to deliver this load. The only thing that you have to pay for in this game is your truck, your liveries and your upgrades to your truck. Everything other than that, besides gas, you have to pay for gas. Um, but other, everything other than that is, uh, you're making profit by, as long as you're transporting stuff for a company which I am transporting for FedEx right now so technically I would be a salary worker and we are 
are in Las Vegas, baby. Uh, Alex Jones, they have snow mods. I've used a snow mod before. I had it where it was a blizzard out. I don't think the snow mods updated to uh, the newest version of ATS, but they do have snow mods. How much is the game? The game is, I believe it's 20 bucks right now. It might be on sale. Yeah, but they do have snow mods in the game. It's pretty cool. And they have a mod where you can make the road slick. So if, like you slam on your brakes, you'll start sliding to make it more realistic. Yeah, the game's 20 bucks right now, like the B City said. Just not that much, especially if you enjoy this type of gaming. Driving all over the East Coast and uh, driving with different vehicles and playing with mods. What siren do I use? So I use the uh, Willen, Wellen, um, Sapphire, Syncom Fat Sapphire. It's one of my favorite sirens. It, it basically depends on what car I'm using because each car has different um, light bars and different sirens So like Ohio State Highway Patrol that I do they use two different sirens they use a Mastercom code 3 siren And then uh, they also use the federal signal smart siren So when I do patrols I uh, try my hardest because well, I try my hardest to make sure I get the right sirens for the white right patrol cars and the right light bars um, Just so I'm correct about my patrols Because um, I, I make sure that I'm legit when I do stuff I try my hardest to be legit And we are coming up on the warehouse now, baby I'm not too sure are we delivering to a FedEx warehouse or I'm not too sure what warehouse this is. We got Vista print here. Sorry my camera angle is messed up. Am I delivering into this place? Oh, that was a short notice. It's gonna have to be a wide turn here. Don't worry, guys. I got this without without messing my truck up. I don't want to jackknife it. I did not think I was pulling in this lot. Let me go ahead and turn my hazards on. I'm going to swing it out to the left a little bit. And let's go ahead and drop this baby off. Right, that's where I want it, and that's where they'll get it. So anytime you're on a customer's lot, make sure you turn your um, hazards on. position my truck I'm gonna make it easier for myself yeah so anytime you're on a customer's lot make sure you guys turn your hazards on learn that from my actual trucker Drop off points not actually that bad. It's actually pretty easy. And it looks like we were transporting material for a Vista Print Warehouse. There we go. 
All right, uh, Jackson, you have a good one, man. Uh, live at once, I've had like 400 people at once. All right, continue. We made our money. Veta good. Veta, veta good. DeAndre, I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? And there we go. We are going to drop that trailer off there. And we are at Vista Print. And we are going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for coming by and watching us. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Um, you guys can check out the stream that we did earlier. If you guys didn't get to check it out, we did Polito Bay Police Department um, with a 2014 Dodge Charger all blue light setup. Uh, we had fun with that. Got in a pursuit as soon as we started the patrol. When you buy the game, uh, the B City, the only thing that you have to pay for is uh, gas. So that's the only thing that you got to pay for. Um, when you first start, you'll actually be working for other companies. So you'll be like this. So let me show you. So when you, when you start, you'll be in the job market. You won't own any trucks. You'll be in the job market and you'll be doing quick jobs, which quick jobs um, give you trucks that um, you're going to drive around and um, you'll drive around for other companies until you make enough money to buy your own, uh, your own truck, which I believe you can start out in California. So these are all the states. You got New Mexico, you got Colorado, Utah, Arizona, California, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. So literally, we just went from, so we went from Denver, Colorado, all the way over here to Las Vegas. And it took us how long? How long have we been streaming? Um, let me go over here. I'm gonna see. It took us an hour to get from from Denver, Colorado. Which is right here, all the way over to Las Vegas, right here. So, literally, we took this route all the way right here, all the way through Utah, down through Utah, and we went through. Uh, no, actually, we didn't take that route. Hold on, let me zoom in on world map. Sorry. So, we took. Yeah, we did. So we came all the way through here. So we came all the way from Denver right here, all the way through here on Interstate 70, switched over to Interstate 15. And we went through right here. We went through um, Arizona and then ended up in Nevada, Las Vegas. These are all the, so if you look at all the roads right here that are um, gold, the look gold to you. These are all the roads that I've been on. So these are all the roads that I've traveled on. And then the ones that are gray are ones that I have not been on. What do I put Polito cars as? I put them in as um, Sheriff and Sheriff 2. And then also P Ranger. But look at this, guys. This is how much I've traveled in this in this game. Every single road that you see right here that is yellow or goldish is a road that I've been on and traveled on. That's crazy. I've been all over the East Coast. And there's a lot of cities that I haven't even been to, and I've had this game for quite a while. There's a lot of places I have not been to. The coolest part is when you get up to Washington, like over here by, um, where is it at? I did not mean to do that. I do not want to place that there. Um, the coolest thing is when you get over here, there's a ferry that you can take that will take you across this river and lead you over to a certain place. So I think it was uh, Port Angeles and you go all the way up here to Bellingham or vice versa. Um, but yeah, there's a ferry that takes you across. So you park your semi on the ferry and it takes you all the way across. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of awesome places out here. So the next one that they are releasing is, I believe it's going to be 
So Wyoming, Wyoming, and then someone said something about Texas, but I don't think they're going to release Texas until um won't let me zoom out anymore until they finish up this so wyoming and then it might be texas they need to finish up these states right here before they leave that over there i'm just waiting for them to re release ohio but i mean if you look at it there's so many states that we're waiting for for them to release and just imagine being the creators of this game they literally have to for most of these roads and stuff they travel on in real life to give you guys the actual experience and make the game look 100% legit. It's pretty cool. You live, you're living in Arlington, Washington. Um, I don't think it shows that in here. What city is it close to? I hate that so much. You, you place. It keeps placing a marker down for me, and that that could screw you up. They got Longview, Aberdeen, Tacoma, Olympia, Seattle, Everett, Port Angel, Angeles, Angeles, um, Omac, Grand Coulee. Oh, ten miles north. Yeah, I don't think it shows your little town in here. It shows Bellingham. I don't think it shows your town in here, Donald. So if ever it's right here, you must be like in this circle right here off of Interstate 5. Of course, I mean, you would have tons of neighborhoods and stuff in between here and stuff. You're on Truckers MP, Yolo Bix. Yeah, I don't play Truckers MP in a while. I actually need to get a crew together and play some Truckers MP. That would be fun. All right, guys. Well, we had fun. Thank you all for watching. Guys, stay blessed, stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys on the next one. We were working as FedEx. Um, the last American Truck Simulator stream we did, we were UPS, and who knows what will be next? Probably Walmart or Amazon Prime or something awesome. But we'll see you guys on the next one. You guys stay blessed, stay safe, and we'll see you guys very soon. Peace.